So apart from me having to open my door like this, apart from me having to open my door like this, there is nothing wrong with my AK project. Apart from the fuel issue that we have at the moment. So while we're accelerating and we have a big jolt, we have a massive fuel surge, and this is due to the new fuel pump we put in. I'm not sure if it's the pump itself or if it's the tank, because the tank is fully rusted, so it's clogging up the fuel filters, clogging up the fuel stock, everything. So today we've got a new fuel pump, a new fuel tank, and we're gonna chuck it in my AK. <laughs> So on a normal EK, uh, there's a bolt on the back of the seat here. However, I've left that one out because I'm always removing my seat. So all I have to do is just pull it forward and out of the corners, straight out, ready to go out the window. And then we can get to our little fuel pump shield here. And then under here, we have to remove everything that's connecting the car to the tank. So we've got under these little covers, we have some plugs. Just want to squeeze that in, pull that out, pop this one off. This tank's a lot dirtier than the other one we're chucking in. So that one just has a tab on the top you push down. And then we can slide that out like that. And then we just have this. So this one here is going to spill quite some fuel. And I'll look away a little bit. If I wanted to come out on me today. Not too bad. Last time I did that, that was a lot worse. So that's going to spill a little bit of fuel. Uh, but now we have everything from the top disconnected, uh, which means we'd have to go and disconnect everything underneath, and then we can pull the tank. So underneath the car now, there's just obviously the big plastic shielding here, and down there, which Archie's just taking off, it's just some basic Phillips head trim clips. And then once they're all off, that gives us access to the lines, which take the fuel up to the filler neck, and then take the straps off, and the tank can come out. So I just tried to uh, loosen this, and this is so rusted that the clamp just broke off, so fling it out without getting dirty my eyes. Ow. Uh, we're just gonna find a new one for that, um, and then we can get the pliers and try and take this one off. We also removed the two lines going to that blue little pressure or either you know, thing not too sure what that does but we've got a new one on the tank we have so we just disconnected that one as well they're gonna be so crusty oh yeah and there's that, that orange fuel that we were talking about that is fantastic actually <laughs> <laughs> dirty fuely hand Righto, so we get the impact long socket. Just undo these. Now you can see how much cut on the top of it. I'm afraid this is going to be very heavy. Mm. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> And that is why we're replacing it. Well. So as you can see, this is the fill tube. If I stick my finger in here, that's from inside the tank. This is from inside the tank. It's like f it's literally pieces of dirt. Um, so yeah, really good that we're replacing it. So as you can see, uh, no, this is not pee. This is fuel straight out of the tank. As you can see at the bottom there, the dirt is literally settling. I just poured this out of the tank. Uh, the tank was nearly on empty. However, I had filled it up nearly half, over halfway uh, a week before. Um, and this is the state of it. So that goes to tell you what the actual inside of this tank looks like. 
Uh, it's absolutely feral, to be honest. Uh, it's about time that it went. So, yeah, you can see why we're replacing it. So, unfortunately, we couldn't film much of it because it was a two-man job getting this on. But all you have to do is angle it so the front of the tank goes in first. It makes the heat shield there. Then we just had it on the jack, push it up, one of us on either side, tightened up the straps, and now she's in. All we have to do is reconnect the lines here to the fuel filler, plug in everything up the top, and it's good to go. All right, so now back at the top, we can now go ahead and plumb up all of our newly installed tank. This one's always a pain. Yeah, it's on. to reinstall the shield, line up with the holes. <laughs> the infinitely tightening screw. So I've reinstalled all the plastic shields here, so the last step is to chuck the wheel on. But the first thing we're gonna do now is I'm gonna prime it to see if the fuel pump works. I'm, I know it does, but I'm going to double check now that it works with my car. So I'll quickly turn the key. There we go, now. I doubt it's gonna start, but we'll chuck it in neutral. Oh, first go. It's got pretty much no petrol, so probably won't last long running, but I'll turn it off and then we can go get some petrol. So this is the state of the old EK fuel tank. Look at the rust and shit there. <laughs> That's filthy. So although this solved my issue, it's not going to solve everyone's issue. I've fixed a lot of things on this car that I thought to be the issue when it was misfiring, if you've seen the misfire series. Uh, so. If you've still got a, a bucking and bogging issue, it's, it's going to be with your spark or your fuel. Uh, with mine, it was fuel. So if you're having these issues, my first recommendation, spark plug straight away. Uh, fuel filter, this one here. Uh, they're both cheap fixes, and it's just a peace of mind to change them. Uh, they're a general service item, so you get them changed anyway. So you change them out, and then I check your injectors if you still have the issue. Um, they usually get clogged up over time, so you check your injectors. Uh, air filter, that would be the first thing I check actually. Um, in this car, obviously, I have a, I got a carbon intake, so it has a exposed filter, but in your box, you can pop the box up, check the filter, see how it's looking. Uh, and then we can lead on to the distributor. However, that's more to have simple, like simple non-starting issues. And that's about it. They're pretty much gonna be your main issues for a 96 to 00 D-Series Honda Civic. Thanks for watching this episode of Valcast. Now my AK is ready to go.